Austin. Rondo sets it up. Here's Allen with a deep three. Yes! 2,561. And that is... Came together. The ovation continues for Ray Allen. What would you do if your record was broken? Would you sit there and mope? Would you watch? Would you wait? Would you go out there? Would you establish your glory? Are all these thoughts swirling through Reggie Miller's mind as Ray Allen's three-pointer drops through the net? All these questions will be answered as the 45-year-old Miller makes a comeback to the NBA to reestablish his glory, reclaim the three-point crown, and get his first ring. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sam or Burns. And as you could tell from that intro, we are doing a Reggie Miller comeback to the NBA as you see at the age of 45. This is my Reggie Miller creating a legend. And he's not that pro. He can't dribble that fast. That be I mean it looks really cool, but I just had this sped up. I'm just going to go through some, you know, his attributes and his equipment real quick before we get into his NBA re-debut if you want to call it but yeah I came up with this idea that I wanted to play with Reggie Miller in creating a legend because you can take a creative player and put it in creating a legend I want to take Reggie Miller put him in creating a legend and reclaim the three-point crown from Ray Allen now however long that may take that's when I'm that's how long I'm doing this series that's I mean I think I think it's a good idea uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it too but without further ado Let's get to the start of the game. And as you can see, we win the tip. Reggie Miller there back in the NBA wearing the number 31 jersey for the Indiana Pacers. Going against the Detroit Pistons here. He's going to pass it out to David West who easily could have shot that. And, uh, Reggie Miller could have got an easy assist on his first possession back. But that's not going to happen. Instead, Darren Collison is going to shoot a jump shot, which is going to be lead, be lead, lead. Uh, it's going to lead to an offensive rebound by David West, and he's going to get the putback. So we're up 2-0 here early, and Rodney Stuckey is going to do a little spin move layup and get it to go. That is my guy, and I, um, I didn't defend him very well. But as you can see, Danny Granger, I was yelling at him multiple times in this game because he did a lot of stupid things like offensive three in the key and yeah so Jonas Drebko here in the post he's gonna go up for a layup and get fouled and one here get fouled by Reggie Miller that's Reggie's first foul of the game but running the fast break Darren Collison gonna pass it to Danny Granger 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 who's gonna hand it right back to Danny Granger who will then find Reggie Miller for the three that's just one step closer and then later Another three by Reggie Miller. He's got six points to start this game. And it's great, looking like a great comeback so far. Roy Hibbert now on the baseline. Going to pass it out to Reggie Miller, who's staring down uh, Rodney Stuckey. Nowhere to go, so he's just going to kick it to Danny Granger for the little bank shot from the block. That is going to go. That's his first assist here in his first game back. And you see George Hill running the fast break. Going to get a little up and under layup and give us a 16-13 lead. And Rodney Stuckey, um, I don't know, I was having some trouble defending in this game. I'm not very good at 2K. I, you know, I try my best. But it's more for fun. Uh, I don't have to play on Hall of Fame to have fun. I, it would just ruin it for me. But but yeah, guys, you see right here, I get, or uh, I, I'm going to, should I talk in third person? Let's talk in third person. Reggie Miller's going to get the assist and then... Whoa, where did this come from? I thought you were old. Posterizes whoever that was and then gives him a crotch to the face. I know that sounds weird, but that's what happened. And as you can see, we have the lead here after the first quarter. Now it's the second quarter, about nine and a half minutes remaining. Reggie Miller on the right wing. We're up by five points here. Going to run a little quick isolation. Going to back down Brandon Knight. Looking for a little up and under move, and it's not going to get in. But he would draw the foul and knock down two free throws. And you see here Reggie Miller getting the D rebound. 
pump fakes and goes to the rim. No, like, room whatsoever. He's going to pump fake again and then get stuffed. And you see Jonas Jerebko shooting a fadeaway? Who does he think he is? And we're running out on the fast break again. Danny Granger is going to hand it off to Reggie Miller. He's going to do a little up and under layup to give the Pacers a nine point lead here. And still a nine point lead later in the second quarter. Reggie Miller is going to pump fake, do another little spin up and under. That's a great move. And the Pacers now lead by 11 points. So this is, uh, you know, it's been a pretty successful. Um, you know, re-entry into the NBA for Reggie Miller. He's got 21 points here in the first half. That's over half of the Pacers' points. And you see there, Stucky misses the jump shot. And they're calling a play, but Reggie Miller says, uh, no. But can he get the layup? No. And then he bowls over Austin Day. That's going to be his second foul of the game. And here, I don't think, uh, Maybe mental lapse here by Reggie Miller. I don't know. He wasn't paying attention. And then a little step back, hop, jump shot by Rodney Stuckey. Gets uh, Reggie Miller off balance. And he's going to cut the lead to eight points. So about three and a half minutes remaining here. Reggie Miller is going to cut into the middle of the lane. And then cut back out for a three. No, not enough room. So he's just going to do a little spin up and under. Layup. He's lo loving that move here early. I think that's the third time he's used it. Now, doubling Greg Monroe in the post. Greg Monroe, nowhere to go. So you're going to see a rare thing in NBA 2K12, at least for me, um, a jump ball. And you see here, we're in the third quarter. We're still only up by eight points. The Pistons are hanging around with us. But a great diving save by Rodney Stuckey. But it's going to cost him in the end. Reggie Miller is going to hit another three-pointer here. He's got 28 points on the day or night whenever this game was but you see we're up by nine now and david west is going to find reggie miller in the middle of the paint for a little layup uh great way to get a score going even though he's already going and i steal by danny granger and reggie miller takes off for the reverse jam well it wasn't anything fancy but reggie miller's going to get his dunk rating up and he's going to be doing some windmills and some posterizations and whatnot but Reggie Miller in the corner from downtown. That's going to give the Pacers a 16-point lead. What happened to the Pistons team that was hanging around? You see Reggie Miller with 35 points here. Uh, not even to the fourth quarter. And you see the missed three. And Charlie Villanueva? No, he can't do anything good. Reggie Miller with the defensive rebound off the missed putback. And he's just going to bowl over Rodney Stuckey. Basically put an elbow into his face and go knock down two free throws and then Rodney Stuckey, the very following possession, Reggie Miller's going to reach and then uh, get uh, a backcourt violation. And then here's another crazy play. You see Reggie Miller gets rejected, and it goes right to Danny Granger for the fadeaway jump shot. But once again, Reggie Miller from downtown to give him 40 points in the game. That was his fifth three-pointer on the night day. I don't know. Let's call it the night. On the night. And then he's going to kick it out to Danny Granger on the fast break after a steal and this game is getting ugly the Pacers lead by 19 points in the winding down minutes of the third quarter 74 to 55 and Reggie Miller gonna do a little pump fake layup double I don't know what that was but it looked good got the and one and the free throw to go so 43 points now and he's gonna make a inadvertent foul on Tayshaun Prince send Prince to the line and then he's gonna leave Ben Gordon wide open you can't do that Ben Gordon can shoot that's gonna cut the lead to 17 points and here run a little play for Danny Granger at the end of the quarter and it's gonna go given Reggie Miller an assist so it's 81 to 62 at the start of the fourth quarter as you saw right there now Reggie Miller just testing what's he gonna do oh pick and he's just gonna go off the pick and shoot it Reggie Miller is on fire 40 Five points at that point, I, I believe. He's got 48 now, and he's going to do a little alley-oop layup. That looked really cool. You'll see the instant replay. It wasn't anything fancy on the dunk on the finish part, but the pass. What a pass. No look running away. Great pass by Reggie Miller for another assist on the night. 
He's got 48 points. Now five rebounds and four assists. I believe three steals or four steals. I don't know. But he's going to go ahead and try to get something to go, and he is going to get the layup to go, given uh, the Pacers a 25-point lead. Now the lead at 23, 9, 23 points, 98, 75. Reggie Miller going to pull up from downtown, and that's going to go for his sixth three-pointer of the game. You can see our dynamic goal is break the team record in points, which was set at 57, I believe, probably by Reggie Miller himself. And he's got 55 right now. He's going to drive in, get fouled, and one and he would end up making the free throw and you can see he gets every single objective he broke he broke the team record in points he got all his uh dynamic goals just what a game coming back for reggie miller can you imagine how much how how much joy he's feeling right now and there you see the just nasty dunk over greg McRow, i believe and he shot the lights out uh, that's just there's not much you can say about this performance. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this series, please leave a like. I put a lot of work into it. Uh, there's plenty of this coming, as, as I mentioned. So once again, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.